everyone and thank you for watching another Jazzy Wicks candle review. As you can see today I will be reviewing the collectible and hard to find banana cream cake. Um, this is from the Eat Dessert First collection, it's quite an old collection um, and you can see the difference is they were made with this rubber lid instead of the normal glass lid. Um, you also could get red velvet cake and chocolate layer cake in this collection. Um, I'm not too sure about red velvet cake, but chocolate layer cake I've heard really, really good reviews of and people really rate it. Um, and you can see I have been burning this under my lamp. I haven't burnt the single wick. Um, you can see there, that's the colour the whole candle was, but I've, I've done it a couple of times under the lamp now, so hence why it's gone slightly more yellow at the top. Um, this is 198 grams. I do also have it in the large jar, but I won't be burning that. I'll be keeping that for my collection. Um, I thought, since I had two, what's the point of keeping two and never knowing what it smells like? So I thought I will burn the small one and just keep the large one for the collection. The actual notes of this and the description are a dessert lover's dream, an absolutely luscious slice of heaven made from fresh ripe bananas blended with swirls of whipped uh, vanilla and sugar. Um, my main reason for wanting to actually burn it was I've really got a big thing for like banana smells and tastes at the moment. Um, and a little while ago I did review Sweet Banana Bread by Goose Creek. So I was really keen to sort of review it compared to that. Um, and unfortunately I'm going to have to say that this version was not as nice as the Goose Creek banana smell. Um, the Goose Creek one had quite a more overpowering banana scent. In my review I, I still would have liked it to have been more banana-y but now burning this, um, this could have done with being a lot more banana-y as well. <laughs> um, on a cold sniff. It smells like a very sort of synthetic banana smell, like a sort of more of a bag of sweets sort of banana smell. Um, but then once I started burning it, you, you sort of get more of a creamy scent coming through. Um, there's, oh, every now and again there seemed to be a hint of the banana, but it just really wasn't there as much as I would have really liked it to. Um, it was more just that creamy scent, more of, a, more of a cupcake scent if I'm being honest. So yeah, you get the cream cake sort of smell coming through. But for me, in this instance, I really wanted the banana to come through and hit me in the face. I wanted to walk into that room and just the smell of banana be so overpowering. <laughs> but unfortunately, it wasn't. If you like subtle cake scents, then this is definitely probably a good candle for you. Um, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10 for the throw, which is a bit disappointing. I was hoping, seeing as everyone always seemed to be so trying to get their hands on these collections, that it was going to be really good. Um, but I'm happy I've burnt it. I will still keep the other one in the collection just because it is quite hard to get hold of. Um, I'd like to know if you feel any different. So it, it was a nice candle. It was just not what I wanted. It was a subtle cream cake smell rather than what I was hoping for. I wanted that banana more than the cake smell to come through. Um, it's still an okay candle. Still not as strong as I'd like it to be. But definitely worth burning it and finding that out. But thank you for watching. If you've tried any of this range, I would love to know your thoughts on it. Um, and I will keep my eye out for the chocolate layer cake because I'm quite keen to burn that. But yeah, just unfortunately in this instance, the banana was just not there for me. And that's mainly what I wanted from this candle. But thank you for watching and I'll get some new reviews out soon.